How's it going guys? Welcome to another video from Tandem Cross. I'm Luke and before we get started I want to ask that you please like, subscribe, and share this video on whatever social media platform you found it on. Today we're going to be talking about a really cool gun and some awesome upgrades for it. The Ruger 5.7. The Ruger 5.7 is one of those pistols that a lot of people are looking for, and the people that have them say they're awesome. And I'm going to have to agree here. This is Ruger's first application of the 57 by 28 round, which packs a huge punch for a pistol. This firearm comes stock with a 20 plus 1 round magazine capacity. Another thing I like about this gun is the fact that the bore axis is low, making it super easy to shoot. But without further ado, let's talk about two key performance upgrades for the Ruger 5.7 made by Tandem Cross. The 5.7 I have here is equipped with performance upgrades from Tandem Cross like the Victory Trigger, the Wingman Plus 5 Extended Magazine Bumper, and the Eagle Eye Fiber Optic Rear Sight from our Rear Sight Combo. The first upgrade I want to talk about is the Wingman Plus 5 Magazine Bumper. There are a few reasons why the Plus 5 magazine bumper is beneficial to this gun. The first one being the most obvious, getting a higher magazine capacity allows you to have more rounds to fire at your target, but there are two more reasons I don't want to overlook. This bumper allows for a better grip for removing and confidently seating the magazine with authority, which is huge for me. I got small hands. And although this is a full-size pistol, I typically like bumpers or magazines with a little bit more beef at the bottom of the magwell anyways, because it allows me to have more grip real estate for a firm grip. Now that we've talked about the Wingman Plus 5 bumper, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly show you how to install it, and then we'll move on to the rear sight set. For this installation, all you're gonna need is the magazine spring, the two inserts inside the cap, the factory magazine, and a small flathead screwdriver. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your factory 5.7 magazine and push the release button with a flathead on the top. Once it comes a little bit loose, making a mess here. You're gonna to wanna to start slotting it off, but you're gonna to wanna to follow the spring with your finger. And hold the spring like so. Otherwise, it's gonna go shooting out of there. You don't want that. So we'll go ahead and pull this out, just like that. Now that you have your stock magazine spring, you can go ahead and get rid of the base here by unsnapping the spring. Now set that aside, we don't need that right now. And then you can take your stock spring and set that aside as well. Now you can remove the follower from the magazine. It should just come out, but sometimes you gotta give it a little love. There we go. Keep that right here. You can also set the base plate aside as well. Now take the new spring, the one that came with your magazine bumper, and attach that base plate. If you look at it this way, you can snap it in by pushing this little part of the spring over the little plastic and it should snap in just like that. The next thing we're going to do is remove the inserts from the magazine bumper cap. And the way that I recommend doing this is starting with the back two teeth and taking the flathead and just going ahead and pushing those in. Sometimes you got to hold it pretty firmly. There we go. There's one and two. And then you're going to want to turn it over and there's a double tooth that kind of looks like a single tooth. And what you're going to want to do is actually stick the flathead in the bottom of it like so, push it in, and then up. And the inserts should come out. Now that you have your two inserts, you can go ahead and set those aside, as well as the cap. Now we'll take the new spring with the spring base attached, and we'll insert it into the pronged part of the follower, like this, and then kind of twist it up. You definitely don't want to just shove it in there. It won't align right, so make sure you're kind of tipping it in with the prong side, as you can see here. After that, you'll see that the follower kind of has the same markings as the magazine. We're gonna go ahead and, and guide the follower up into the top of the magazine, and you'll see it at the top. If you have to pull the spring out to do it again, make sure you pull the follower out too, and you reseat it on the follower like we just did. Now we're gonna grab our first insert, and I typically like to start with the bottom one because it's easier for me to guide the spring like this than it is to try to hold it on top and drag it across the medic mat here. So get the one that actually matches the magazine ears at the bottom. If you see there's little ears here, there's little slits in the, in the inserts here, and you're gonna wanna match those up. 
Now with the insert cut and the magazine ears lined up, we're gonna wanna put the button of the spring base into the little nook in the bottom of the insert here. And we're gonna wanna push it, being very careful not to let go of that spring until the ear fits right into the cut. Now I recommend holding this as you grab the other insert. As you can see, this ear will match with this cut. And we can go ahead and put the other insert just like that. Make sure you're still holding onto this because it is still under tension. You don't wanna lose these. The next step is to take the magazine bumper cap and you'll see that there is the back with the two teeth. And you're gonna wanna seat that so the two teeth in the back snap in. As you can see, they're locked in. And then flip it over and push down to get the double teeth. After all the insert teeth have gone into the holes in the cap and it is secure, you've successfully installed your wingman bumper. I'd like to note that the bumpers come in a two pack, so I've gone ahead and done both of my magazines that came factory. Before we go and have some fun at the range, I'd like to talk about the rear sight set as well though. Typically at Tandem Cross, we sell the whole sight set, but Ruger did an awesome job at making a front fiber optic sight. So we've gone ahead and made a rear fiber optic sight or a peep sight, which are included in the same kit. Our sight set comes with the rear peep sight and the fiber optic rear sight if you want the benefit of both fiber optic front and rear sights. And because they're so easy to interchange, you can change them on the go. I'm gonna show you how to install them right now. I'm gonna go ahead and use the factory Ruger 5.7 for this because it actually does have the factory sight still on it. But the first thing we should do is to make sure there's no magazine in and to check the chamber, make sure this gun is actually unloaded. After we've triple checked that our gun is not loaded, we can go ahead and start the installation. All you're gonna need for this is the small flathead. I'm actually gonna use the same one we just used to install the wingman bumpers into the magazines. Flip your gun over to the right side because this windage adjustment screw is actually gonna be your sight set screw. And the first thing we're gonna do is actually unscrew that fully. Like so. Once you have the set screw out, just set it aside. You're gonna need that in a little bit. And the next step is to actually take the sight, and I recommend doing this very slowly because there is a spring under there. And just guide it out with your finger so you don't lose that spring. And you'll kind of see the spring you just very easily pull it out. Make sure you don't lose that. You're going to need it later. Now take whatever sight you want to install. Here's the peep sight and the fiber optic rear sight. I'm going to go ahead and install the fiber optic rear sight. The next thing you're going to do is actually take that same spring that you just pulled from the factory sight, stick it in the hole on the right side of the fiber optic rear sight. Kind of get it ready to guide it in. And then what I like to do is you can push it down with your finger, but I don't want to pinch myself. So I'm going to go ahead and take the flathead and just push on that spring to allow the rear sight set to get snug right in there. Put this in with by hand. That's the original screw that we took out of the factory sight. And then now that that's in there, we can go ahead and just tighten it up. Um, I also actually recommend pulling it to the right a little bit so it's a little bit more snug. Otherwise, you're just going to be really far left windage wise. And just like that, we have our fiber optic rear sight installed. I'd like to note that the process for installing the rear peep sight and the rear fiber optic sight are exactly the same. And because that process is so easy, it makes them super easy to change out on the go. Now that we have our Wingman Plus 5 magazine bumper and our fiber optic rear sight installed, I think it's time we go to the range. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video on whatever social media platform you use. I'm Luke with Tandem Cross, and we're here to make your good guns great. Keep up with us on social media for daily updates. I'll see you next time.